Hi everyone, this is Tesa, my dog Ollie. We're out for a dog walk and we found a great stand to demonstrate the Swiss Needle Cast data collection procedure that is being introduced this year to coastal BC. So it will apply if you're in a stand with over 50% Douglas fir in the inventory label. So that means by total density. And it applies if your Douglas fir trees are five years old or older. So that's the stand. Now you're going to do this extra data collection at your full measure plot. And so I'm going to pretend that I'm at plot one and I pick my tallest Douglas fir tree. So this should be equivalent to your sample tree that you're using for your inventory height and age. I'm also requesting that you do height and age. So that means that you don't have to do any extra measurements. Now for the extra data that's specific for Swiss needle cast, you have to do two things. First, you have to measure the leader growth. So that's this section right here. It's also known as increment growth. I know a lot of you guys already collect it, so hopefully it's not too much trouble. Now, we also need to do needle retention ratings uh, for the last four years growth. And to be consistent, you need to be on the south side of the tree. So you got to navigate to the south side. And then we need to find the bottom most whirl of the crown that has living needles. So that's this whirl right here. So this is considered whirl one and we count up from here. So this is whirl one, two, three, and four. So we always go to the fourth whirl and then we check to see how many internodes the branches have. So an internode is equivalent to a year's growth. So this branch has one internode, two internodes. So that's not enough. Our sample branch always has to have four internodes. So we're short two, so that means we need to drop down two whirls. So dropping one whirl and two whirls. So let's just double check how many internodes it has. So this is internode one, two, three, and four. So we do have enough internodes to be able to use this branch. So in our data collection, we're only going to be looking at the main stem of the branch. All of these side branches, side stems, they do not contribute to our needle retention. We don't need to assess them. We have to be very consistent in how we record our data. So we're always going to call the last year's growth, um, the outermost crown, as year one. So this will be considered year one. And now we have to give it a needle retention rating. So our ratings can be between zero and one. We don't need to be too accurate, don't need to be counting needles, um, just ballpark it and round to the nearest point one. So for this internode, I don't see any needles missing. So I'm gonna give it a one for 100% needles. Now let's look at year two. So this is year two right here. And for this section, I don't see any needles missing until about here. And then you can see that there are a handful of needles gone. So I'm gonna give this year two a 0.9 rating, which means that 90% of the needles are still present. Now for year three, that's here to here. Um, we don't count any of these side branches. So we'll see that almost all the needles are missing. All that's left are these five, six needles right here. Ollie, that's enough. So I'm gonna give it a 0.1 rating. And then for our fourth year, right here, you can see that there are no needles left along the main stem, so it gets a zero. So now in our spreadsheet or in our field notebook or in SNAP, we have to write this down. So we have to write down our height, our age, the leader, and then we write down our rating for each of the internodes. So internode one gets a one, internode two gets a 0.9, Internode three gets a point one and internode four gets a zero and that's it.